As a player, Clark was a member of Don Revie's great lead side of the early 1970s. Now, with the backroom boys he's brought with him from Barnsley, his job is to bring success once again to Elland Road. Sunderland against Leeds United at Roker Park, the first away game for Alan Clark as manager of Leeds. Brown, now he's got past Neil Firm. He had the pace then. Can he square it? And Pop Robson scores for Sunderland. And that was a typical Pop Robson goal. Arnott in there. Into the back of the box. Raoul Robson. That should have been two and it might still be yet. But the ball just wouldn't fall for him. But it might fall for Stan Cummins now. And he's got past him. Cummins, lovely skill. Robson. It's there. It's Graham with the corner. Firm arriving from the back. Flynn. Oh, we've got a deflection from Derek Parlane. Certainly Brian Flynn didn't intend the cross. He was looking for the shot. And uh, Parlane just got the header to it. Allardyce, a little touch. Bird is under pressure. Hart is under pressure. Arnott's looking to get it back, and he has done. Raoul, and it's in from Gary Raoul. Kevin Hurd. Went straight to Whitworth. There's no relief for Leeds yet. Alan Brown, chance to shoot. Oh, he's tucked that one away nicely. Two minutes after the break, a rare Leeds attack saw Ipswich concede their first home goal in the league. Paul Hart headed back from the far post, and Argentine Alex Sabella got the final touch amid the flying feet. Leeds' joy lasted 13 minutes, then John Walk got a superbly headed goal, his 12th in all games this season, to save Ipswich's unbeaten record.
cold winter evening, City are away to Leeds United, who also hover near the bottom of the table. You know, just when you win the plate, just try and lose him that fraction of a second. Just, just show the player off and just lose him. Don't wait and see what's going to happen. Lose him. the game gone and no score. Tony, as soon as we win possession, get out to the touchline. If he comes in and closes your game, you can always check back again the second time. But the first time, come inside, then go outside. And then if he closes you, then come back inside. Oh, Tony! 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 Leeds score, the only goal of the match. I don't know what, tell me, I keep telling you, keep trying to throw those balls in there, get you killed, son, in the middle of the park. Get you killed. struggling clubs who had changes in management already this season but who are beginning to show signs of improvement. Paul Maidley who's been out for eight matches brings his considerable experience back to the lead side. As a result Eddie Gray can move back to his more familiar place in midfield but the manager Alan Clark has nothing but praise for his performances at left back. At 34 the youngest in the first division here very much by popular demand and as he was as a player determined to be his own man. Connor, Flynn, oh well saved by the keeper, it was a really nice try by Brian Flynn, Free enough, that's nice into Flynn, Connor, oh fine goal, Greenoff who played it nicely through to Flynn, who was able to feed Connor, who stuck it wide of Paul Barron's left hand, Paul Hart is up, and Greenoff off the line by Hinterwood. Come on, no, let's go, let's go. Hey, it's over! It's over! Distance! And three in the middle for Connor now. And it's gone in from Carl Harris. No! Well, the referee looks down. The linesman is absolutely level. And no goal. And the final whistle has been blown, the third victory for Alan Clark, and the third by a 1-0 scoreline. The goal scored by Terry Connor in the 11th minute. Well, I'm quite sure Leeds' new manager, Alan Clark, will be satisfied with two points. He's already stated that getting results is the only thing that matters to him just now.
past this mass. Now he has to check to cover John Hollins. And an own goal by John Lukic. Sunderland again. Arsenal have four waiting for the cross. Flicked on by Rick. Sanson was right in there and that was Gatting. And Arsenal go two in front. Hollins joining Sunderland and McDermott in the middle and it's Hollins. And that was surely over the line. Talbot's arriving in the middle and McDermott finds him. Can Brian Talbot make it four? He can. Sunderland going through the middle. And Sunderland's shot makes it five. And it's now becoming a rout. Hit me slowly, hit me quick, hit me. 